Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing an old school get ready with me today. I'm celebrating my 27th birthday a little bit early. We're going to high tea. As you are watching this, I'm hoping to upload on my actual birthday, the 2nd of June. So happy birthday to all my fellow June babies, my Gemini. So with that being said, grab your makeup and let's get ready together. It's currently 8 a.m. so the sun is still rising. So the lighting definitely is going to be changing as as we get ready so please excuse that but let's get ready because we are going high tea today which i'm so excited for this high tea place actually they only have it once a month because i think the place is more of like a restaurant and they just have this high tea every month i've had this booked for a while now and this was the closest date to my birthday. My birthday is on the 2nd of June, which I'm planning to upload this video on the 2nd of June. Also, I have my contacts in. I'm wearing Moody Lenses Misty Rose. This is my favorite like pink mauve lens because we are gonna go for a pink look today. We're going high tea, so I wanna be really girly. I've had this outfit for a while now. I actually wore the outfit yesterday to take photos because I just know today was gonna be way too busy to like get photos in and film and everything it's just been kind of you know busy <laughs> lately and i feel like the day just goes by so quick also it's like winter here now so like daylight savings and keeping that in mind it is winter i know i'm gonna freeze i'm wearing something strapless you can see i'm like in my robe right now but i feel like you guys know right like even though it's so cold if your outfit is cute you'll freeze i feel like i haven't done a get ready with me in so long and i haven't done a q a in so long as well i think i might do just like a dedicated Q&A video um, but I did ask you guys over on my Instagram yesterday to send over some questions and I have in front of me I think the first question I want to start off with is where have you been hope you're doing well miss your long form content there was actually a few questions similar to this like how are you doing which I think is like a really nice question to ask because you know content creators are real people too and I thought I would start the Q and A on like where I've been because you guys probably have noticed that I've been not uploading as much as I normally do. So essentially on the 1st of May, my family opened their bakery slash cafe and I essentially had to go help out. My brother was overseas and the plan was to open when he was back, but you know, things happened and we opened earlier than expected. So I kind of had to go in. So essentially from like May 1st to May 18th, I was working every single day, seven days a week, no break. I was working from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., which I know is like a normal shift for some people, but it's like, you know, some people usually have like a day off or something, but I was working, you know, consistently straight. Plus I was trying to edit my YouTube videos as well because I did have some videos pre-filmed and keep in mind I'm not just going into work where like the business has already been established you know we're going into it like opening everything is on me I literally wasn't managing it all it was really stressful um, and I tried my best to upload as much as I could but I think I didn't upload for two weeks which is the longest I have not uploaded in my nine years of doing YouTube. Even when I had 100 subscribers, I always like made it a promise to myself to like always upload. Like, you know, my motto was just to be consistent. I've never gone two weeks without uploading ever. So that's like, I feel like if you know me really well, like the two people that know me the best is my niece and my friend Denise. They didn't see that I was uploading and they checked up on me right away. They asked me like, hey, haven't seen you upload in a while. Are you okay? I think that's the first indication of like me not doing okay. <laughs> it's like if I don't upload. You're working the whole day. It's hard to edit in between. When you get home, you know, it's time to clean, shower, eat, and then go to sleep. My brother is back now. He got back last week. So I've managed to have some days off, but I'm still going in sort of like part time. And I'm just sort of catching up on life, you know, like I literally have not finished cleaning my house yet. And I feel like this get ready with me is going to be kind of long. I feel really chatty. I feel like I just need someone to talk to, even though I'm kind of like talking to myself. But yeah, just need someone to talk to about life. But that's where I've been. I've been okay. I, there was like other questions saying like, are you happy? Are you doing well? And I'm happy for sure. I think right now there's just a lot going on for me. I'm happy, but I feel like I'm not okay. <laughs> I feel like there's just a lot like pressure on me and just juggling everything 
because you know now that I have another responsibility of the bakery um, even though I'm not the main full-time you know manager it's still I don't know I feel like if you guys have a family business you probably know you're part of it too right like you can't just escape it in a way so that's been on my mind and also my cat Juni I don't know if you guys know I feel like I haven't really shown him on my channel like I feel like we don't watch my vlogs and maybe you don't know Juni but I essentially have four cats and I got my fourth cat last year October so he was born with a deformed eye right and the vet said like you know it's not really bothering him it would be good to remove it but like if it's not bothering him right now then like you don't really need to remove it um, long story short, it started bothering him, so we decided to get it removed and just that was like one week before my parents shop opened. So you can imagine I was really stressed when it comes to my cats. I'm very emotional and very sensitive and that was just like a really sensitive time for me. So yeah, with his surgery, I feel like I didn't really have time to process that because I was busy filming my flower nose review, getting ready for the opening of the bakery. And then also while I was working, you know, he had a little lump on his eye. I had to take him to aftercare. It was a whole thing. It's just been like a little chaotic for me on my end. If you guys want to follow my cat account, I do post them more on that. Um, and Junie's doing all good now. Like he's pretty much recovered. He's such a clingy boy. I'm pretty sure he wants to come into my room and sit on my lap right now, but I need to film. Mama needs to work. I don't know. Just been a little hard. I don't know. 27. <laughs> I'm turning 27 by the way, guys. I'm officially late 20s. I don't know, I feel like all my friends always be like, oh my gosh, we're close to 30, but I'm like, no, we are still young. Like, we got so much ahead of ourselves, you know? Like, it's something we should look forward to, not, I don't know. Maybe that's just me trying to tell myself that I'm still young. I don't know how to feel these days. I feel like I'm questioning everything in my life, my content. There's definitely a kind of new direction that I want to take my content. Not a new direction, I'm still doing reviews, but I want to review more Asian beauty brands, specifically Chinese brands. But I guess on that kind of note, I feel like if you guys have a friend that her love language, her or him love language is words of affirmation or acts of service, just check up if they're doing okay. I feel like when my friends, the ones that you know, message me asking if I'm okay. Even though like they can't do anything to help the situation I'm in, like them just checking up on me like really meant a lot. And I guess cause like I am getting my period soon. I think I'm getting my period on my birthday. I think I'm just like more sentimental than normal. I'm a very sentimental person overall and emotional person. But I think maybe cause my period's coming. And I do notice every time I get my period girl, I don't know why, every little thing moves me. So I just did my brows off camera because Sometimes I feel like when I do my brows on camera, they look a little funky. So I just quickly did them off camera. Now going on to the eyes, but let's answer the next question. Let's do something a little bit more lighthearted and just more general, I guess, because I feel like that was kind of, I mean, it wasn't that deep, but deep for online sharing, you know? Does someone ask, what is your favorite perfume slash fragrance? My all time favorite is Chanel number no. five. I know a lot of people say that it's like a grandma scent, but I don't know what you're talking about because I think that just smells so good and it's just very unique. Once you smell it, you know it's Chanel number no. five. And my whole idea was to like change my perfume every year. So every time I smell that specific perfume, it will take me back to that certain year. When I smell the Nectarine Jo Malone one, that will take me back to 2019, like automatically. So I was like, you know, I kind of want to do that this year. But I just love the scent of Chanel number no. 5 that I'm like, do I want to just be like a classy girl that just be my signature scent? I don't know, what do you guys do? Do you guys like change it up? Because I do have a lot of perfumes now, like my perfume collection definitely has grown. So I'm like, should I switch to something else? Should I just stick to what I love? But I always forget to like spray perfume every time I go out try to remember today <laughs> next question three places you would like to travel and why um top of my list korea and japan even though i have been there before it's just i haven't traveled since 2019 so it's definitely been a while and i think those two places is on the top of my list um depending how much i can save i would like to go korea sometime this year and then maybe japan next year during cherry blossom season um so we'll see we'll see um living life is a little hard a little expensive and then i guess third i want to go thailand 
or just like Asia. Like I want to do like an Asia tour, Vietnam. I want to go China as well, but I don't know what traveling it like is to China because I believe their COVID situation is still, you know, I feel like they still got heavy restrictions and stuff. So I'm not sure if they're allowing, you know, foreigners to come in. My friend actually asked me this question, but there were some other similar questions too. What motivates you to put your all into everything you do? I feel like what motivates me is first, I do like working. I think I'm just naturally a workaholic. So that is already in me to work really hard. Um, but also I just think back to when this wasn't my full-time paying job. You know, I've always taken YouTube seriously. Even when I had 100 subscribers, I was uploading twice a week, no matter what. I put a lot of pressure on myself. I took it very, very seriously. And I've always wanted this to be my job. Like this was my dream job. And like, I remember in year eight, uh, I don't know how old that is, probably 12 or 13. I watched Michelle, so many OG YouTubers back in the day and I really like, this is what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to review and do my makeup on camera. Like this was my dream job. And I think whenever it gets hard for me, I think about like that feeling again. You made it your job. Like this is your job now. How lucky are you? And I think it is very lucky right now, especially in 2023 to have social media as your job because overall it's very saturated. You know, it's hard to stand out. It's not like I'm making millions, but I definitely am on par with my peers who have normal salary paying jobs, you know, like I'm getting paid similar, if not more. There's that. And I also sort of like am the breadwinner of my household. So there's a lot of responsibility on me. So regardless whether I have motivation or not, it's like <laughs> someone's got to pay the bills, right? <laughs> Almost survival, but not like my parents' immigration kind of survival. I think we all kind of feel it that life is just expensive. I don't know, I feel like for me, everyone has to work, you know? It's just part of life. And when you work a job you love, even though it is hard, yeah, I think that just naturally gives me motivation. And I say it like it's so easy, blah, 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 but I am finding it a little bit difficult, I think, with what I do because I do beauty and I am active on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. So YouTube, you know, usually I upload three times a week. Um, that hasn't happened in this past month, obviously, for reasons I've already mentioned, but I upload three times a week, which is long form content. And with like, for what I do personally, everyone is different, it depends on your niche. Even if you're in my niche, we all do things differently, okay? I don't want to toot my own horn too much, but I do put a lot of extra effort um, with three looks. I don't think a lot of people do three looks anymore. And it's like three complete looks. I'm not doing one look on one eye, one look on this eye. It's like three complete looks, matching outfits, hair, everything. I give you comparisons. And I know there's other YouTubers who do that too, but it's a lot. Three long form content, typically on average. I essentially post daily on my TikTok and my TikTok content usually is very different from my YouTube, like it's not related. And then on my Instagram, <laughs> putting more work on myself, I keep a theme. So right now, if you guys go to my Instagram, my last theme was the Moonlight Mermaid theme for Flower Nose. Uh, my upcoming theme is gonna be like a black and pink theme, my birthday theme. That's why today I'm in pink. Personally, me, I don't know of anyone that is that active on all three platforms that does it alone. I feel like a lot of people that is that active has a whole team, they got a manager, they have an editor, they just have people working for them, right? I personally don't know anyone that does all three on their own and is that active. I feel like I know people who do it on their own, but you could say they only focus more on TikTok. They only focus on YouTube. They only focus on Instagram. Like they specifically niche to one platform, but I am spreading myself out. <laughs> and I'm doing it alone. And I'm not saying I'm the only one, I'm sure there's a lot of people that do. I think those people that do do that, you probably can agree with me that it is quite hard, especially I'm not always repurposing the same content for each platform. I'm specifically taking new content for each platform. And I'm only one person and that can get hard. Um, so I feel like for me right now, what is the most demotivating, unmotivating thing is editing editing my YouTube videos. I can film 
all day. I can find comparisons for you. I can do all of that. That for me, I still have a lot of passion for. These days, I feel like I have really no motivation to do it. Um, and I think it's because, again, I've been doing this for nine years, editing the same face. It's a tedious thing to do for nine years straight. You know what I mean? So it's like, I would like to hire on an editor, but it's like, I don't have the funds <laughs> to hire on an editor. And actually like some of you guys have reached out to me through email asking, you know, if I needed an editor or not. And even I feel like if I did have the funds to hire someone to edit, I don't know if I can let that go. Like, I don't know if I can just let go and let someone else edit my whole video for me. Like obviously I'll probably like cut the parts I want to keep in and they can add on all the extra editing, but it's like a lot of back and forth. I don't know. It's just like things I think about. I don't know how well that actually would work out for me. Like it probably might take longer. Um, the way I edit things these days, I'm very almost last minute now. Like I don't have a set schedule. So someone that would have to edit for me would have to have a really quick turnover. I feel like I just like to be in control of everything. And when someone else is editing your video, obviously you don't have control. But yeah, I guess I really went away from the question. Essentially, my motivation is survival. Just remembering why you started and where you are now, I think that gives a lot of motivation. I think that gives you a lot of like, you know, power. Like just remember where you came from and how bad you wanted this and now you have it. So many people would want this job and I know that, you know, like I really don't take this for granted. I know that this could disappear anytime. I feel like my motto is just, I take it day by day, guys. I'm just getting through day by day. Like maybe I'll plan, like I planned my birthday months before, but you know, like overall, I just take it day by day, see how things go. It is what it is. Like in a way, I'm a very serious person, but also in another perspective, I'm also just very like, okay, it is what it is. What can you do? As I'm getting ready, I'm kind of thinking like, maybe I should talk about my birthday a little bit more because it's like a birthday, get ready with me. So we're going high tea today. I'm going with my friend. I am going to vlog for my TikTok. So maybe I'll just add in that TikTok at the end of the video. So you can kind of see where we're going and what we're doing. Cause it's sort of like a vintage high tea. So we're going high tea. I took my outfit photos yesterday. And then on my actual birthday, so on Friday, I want to film this TikTok where I get like free things for my birthday because you know how some places has that perk for you. So I'm just going to go around and get my free stuff. And then on Saturday, I booked an Airbnb for me and my friend and I wanted to do the twice alcohol free challenge. So you know how it goes. Champagne and wine, tequila, margarita, mojito with lime, sleep no syrup in your colada, I'm drunk in you. That, <laughs> we're gonna do that challenge essentially. I pretty much got everything right now. I just need to buy a few more alcohol. And I didn't want to do it at home because the cats are here. You know what's so funny? I feel like when I, before I moved out, I was kind of like, oh, you know, I'm gonna have friends over and we're gonna have, we're gonna do facial masks together and just have a wine and, chit chat. Me now at 27, I kind of want to keep my house very private and not have people come over. Like from time to time is okay, but I used to have a lot of game nights and everything. But I think now that I have four cats, I kind of just want to keep it peaceful for them and not have so much people over at the same time. But I am being a little bit extra. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a whole theme on my Instagram. A whole black and pink. Like pink in your area. So yeah, the first half celebration is pink, which is today. And then next week, I'm going to be in all black. I got two cakes, one fully pink, one fully black. If you guys want to see the theme, Follow me on Instagram. Also, I just did my mascara off a camera because can't talk while I do my mascara, but now I'm going in with my blush. This one has been my favorite recently. It's the Flower Nose Siren Melody from the Moonlight Mermaid. I love, I, I use this top half first, the purple part. So I kind of just like dust this all over the cheeks and then I'll go in with the darker color and like pinpoint it. So pretty. It's definitely like buildable though, so you gotta just pack it on. But let's keep moving on, shall we? Shall we keep chatting? Another question says, is there a non-cruelty-free brand you wish you could try? All of K-Beauty. <laughs> Literally all of K-Beauty. I feel like 
with Chinese makeup. I'm gonna link this TikTok in my description. It essentially just says that it's more likely Chinese brands will be cruelty free and she explains why and I'll have that video linked down below so that's why I want to introduce more Chinese brands. Oh this is a fun one. Favorite YouTubers at the moment. So with YouTube I actually don't watch a lot of beauty YouTube which is surprising right like this is my niche I should be watching it but I actually don't really watch a lot of beauty. I listen to more long like long long form content like podcast type so i've been into stephanie sue you know baking a mystery was it baking a murder i think it's baking a murder uh, rotten mango like all of her things i'm like anytime she uploads i get so excited and i'm like looking forward to it also kendall ray mile higher podcast and i've also been really liking pretty basic like i love remy I, like i love alicia too but like remy <laughs> I wish I had a friend like Remy. Like she just seems so cool to be around and I've always known of Remy and Alicia, like the OGs, like everyone knows them. But I don't know which video I saw. Was it like when the Lana Del Rey thing happened? I don't know. <laughs> As for TikTok though, I do have like, if you guys know Angelo, he is so funny, him and his sister. I live for his videos and I actually bought his merch as well because <laughs> I just think his videos are so funny. He's like, I can't do it. And then finally, last two steps, I need to apply my beauty spot and then my lips. You guys, I'm so sad. My two favorite shades from Flower Nose, um, SO5 and SO4, it's literally gone, okay? There's not, even though like you can see a bit of swatch, it doesn't really swatch on the lips that much. There's not much left. So I feel like I'm moving on to my third lip cream, but I want like a really pinky one. So I might try this one, the shade. It's a bit reddish. This one is red bean buttermilk. I don't know, I feel like that's a little red. Okay, I'm just gonna try and scrape what I can from SO4. Like, you know, I just need something a little bit more pink. And I have so many lip products, guys, but why don't I have a color like this? Like, isn't that the most beautiful pink? Like, it's nude-ish, but not nude completely. Finally, my beauty mark. I have one beauty mark here that I just reinforce. And then I put a fake one under my eye. Because wherever you put the beauty mark, that's like where it's going to bring attention. And because I have a big face, I want the attention to be in here. And like, I always get more compliments on my eyes. So I put one on my eye here. Well, yes, this is my makeup look. I already did my hair. I just put it in two little pigtails, tied a ribbon. Very simple. I'll come and show you the final look with my outfit. But alright guys, here is the final makeup completed. This is really just my go-to look. I did adjust it to some more pinks so that way it could match my outfit. And for my outfit, this is from Lace Made. The corset is gone, but the skirt is still available. So I'll have everything linked down below as well as my accessories and everything like that. But thank you guys so much for getting ready with me today. I hope we had some good chats. Um, definitely, I need to film Get Ready's with me more. It felt very therapeutic so yeah i gotta do this more i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video bye